That definitely, that's definitely 2 2. There's no way that could be a 4. So, why someone's complaining about World 2 in World 4? I don't know. Or maybe the Miiverse system just sucks. <laughs> anyway, though, welcome back to Woolly World, guys. Oh man, World 4 2. I'm kind of annoyed that we have to play this one because it's probably one of my least favorite levels. I don't know, I just kind of feel like caves in general aren't that great. But anyway, here's Shulk Yoshi. That hair of his looks really, like, blonde. I don't think that's Shulk blonde. It needs to be a bit... ...different colory. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Alright, um, Lakitu Peekaboo. Oh, see, I, I'm really just trying to think of why... Why is it that I don't like this level? Well... Apart from the fact that it starts with an auto-scrolling part, as you'll see in a second here. Once it finishes loading... There we go, see so auto-scrolling. I don't know, I'm, uh, I'm acting weird today, I'm just trying, I'm trying to think... Of why... Because I was just thinking before starting this episode, why... Do... Well, I should, I should explain. <laughs> I should explain. My... I... I... I would still personally say I think Yoshi's Island is a better game than this, but then I was thinking, hmm, why is that? Because I would say this game definitely has some more fun levels, like, you know, a lot of the, the special levels, and, um... World, uh... Like, a lot, of, a lot of levels in Yoshi's Island are pretty meh, but then again, there's some meh levels in this game too, so all around it's pretty meh. <laughs> well, not really, but... So anyway, I'm just trying to think to myself, justify why I would like Yoshi's Island more, and I can't really come up with a specific reason apart from... I do think the controls were better in that game, like, Yoshi had this really good, like, speed to him get that... Oh, that was so close. <laughs> yeah, he had a good speed to him, which I don't think he is as good as in this game. But, like, it's still not that bad. Like, he could move a bit faster, and, you know, funnily enough, there actually is a power-up later. Um... That does increase your speed to what it would be in, like, Yoshi's Island, but... I don't know, it still it just feels a bit slow, you know? Anyway, though, so I would... You know, the only reason I'd say I probably prefer Yoshi's Island is for nostalgia. Because, yeah, like I said, I do think this level... This, or this game has some better levels in it. But, uh... This is this is certainly not one, one of them anyway. Which is, um... What I was trying to say... Anyway... But yeah, I, I also can't put my finger on that. It's just, it's because it's a cave. Does anyone else, does anyone else here just like not like cave levels in Yoshi games? I don't know if it's because it's like the caves are so like, you know, dank. It's like, oh, it's so environmentally boring. Or if it's just because the level design in general in caves is like kind of lame. I don't know. Because I, I can't think of a good cave level in any Yoshi's Island game. They're all pretty meh. But, um... Oh well, um, I don't, I don't have, you know, too much gripes to gripe about because, uh, this world kind of picks up soon. The, the, the second level we're doing this episode is pretty cool, I must say. Well, I mean, it's better than this one. <laughs> and my, probably my favorite regular level is also in this world. That's, um, you know, I don't want to hype it up or anything, so I won't tell you which number it is. <laughs> but yeah, and that's... So that's a great level, and then later there's a special level that also has the gimmick of that level. You know, like, levels have gimmicks. So there's a special level that has the gimmick of the favorite level in this world. That's, like, the special level World 5? Ugh. You think it'd be a World 4 one? <laughs> I don't know. Why? Well, well, you think the mechanic that was in that world would be the special level of that world, but it's not. It's World 5, not this world. But, but, shut up. Um... <laughs> What was that yapping on about? I don't know. But, but here is another auto-scrolling part. Now, don't don't run for that. You won't get there in time. <laughs> I made that mistake once. And then, no, get there. The, the beads, you gotta get the beads. Oh, also, I was also thinking about improvements to Yoshi's Island in general. Because I'm, you know, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding anyone here. I like the Yoshi's Island series. I think, I reckon it's pretty good. But I would never rank it above, like, stuff like, I, I don't know, Super Mario World, or, um, what's, like, you know, 3D Mario, like, you know, the earlier ones, 64 and Sunshine, and maybe Galaxy. I, 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 
you know, I was going, I think I was going on at the start of the LP that the collectibles are really good, but I'm just reviewing the game this episode, <laughs> kind of late, isn't it? <laughs> um, what's well, this, because there's nothing else to talk about, because this level sucks ass. Well, he here's something you don't want to freaking miss, though. There's a hidden energy here, and if you destroy the foam underneath it, you can't actually get into this door, and there's another one just below this, as you can see here. You can see, like, they actually show you the Wonder Wall, so you know that, um, pretty sure there's more hearts. And if there's not, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> Alright, come on. I see, these, these Lakitu's could need to piss off. They were in the original game, but they never, like, I can only think of one level where they, like, really spammed them like this. <laughs> now, what was I going on about? Yeah, yeah, um, the hidden mystery clouds. Like, seriously, if those weren't in the game, it would probably be a lot smoother. At least, I reckon it would anyway. Alright, now let's go down here. Um, yeah, it's... Yeah, the, the second one is here, so again, don't destroy the foam below this, otherwise you can't get in. Yeah, so th those are the two things I was worried about. No, there's three things. That stupid auto-scrolling part with the um the rocks falling. I was worried about that part and getting into these foam doors. I was also worried about this. And that now that we've done all that, this level's pretty easy. I'm just <laughs> of course I still really hope there's more hearts somewhere because otherwise I'm kinda screwed in that regard. But um Yeah, anyway, to complete the previous discussion, auto scrolling No, not auto scrolling, um Hidden mystery class, it makes you, like, it makes you just jump around like an idiot, and, like, you could say, just use the hidden mystery class and find her block, but I don't, I don't want to have to use, ugh, first world problems, are right? I don't want to have to use, like, items to be able to fully enjoy the games. Like, if I'm, like, items are there to help, like, well, they should be there to help people who really suck, and in that regard, I wish they kind of weren't in the game, because it kind of, like, you know, it's like, it's like, um... I don't, I, I don't want to say this because I never actually played the game, but it's sort of like how, like, people when, like, Dark Souls 2 introduced the difficulty. What am I doing here? Uh, how, how much we got? We got... Yeah, yeah, that's everything. Okay, 17, good, because we get two right there. Brings 19, there's one above ground. Yeah, anyway, when they added the difficulty in Dark Souls 2, people were pissed because people could just take the, the path of, you know, um, minimum... What's the... What do you call that? Like... Path of least resistance. Yeah, I took a, I took an electrical course once. <laughs> so if you like, like it's like that stupid um, like that th those stupid power ups in the newer Mario games too. Like those can piss off. Like who actually wants those in the game? Like little dumb, dumb little key kitties <laughs> who can't beat the game without like gold Tanuki power up or whatever the hell that is. And yeah, there were no more hearts. Crap, I have to replay this level. And why of all levels was it this level? Uh, boo -hoo. We get to play a bonus game anyway. Please be a good bonus. Have we had this one yet? Um, I feel like we've had this one. As you can see, the fruit is laid out like so badly. Well, not well, not that's not what I really mean. What I mean is that there's barely any fruit on screen, so it's kind of hard to rack up a decent amount of points because otherwise it's like. Well, yeah, you can get, like, you can't even, like, I'm barely just getting to 2,000. In fact, like, I like, I like, I like this. No, I don't like this. <laughs> I like just got to 2,000, so that's a, a crap amount of beads. And also, while I'm on it, um, on the topic of mystery blocks and go, go away, or clouds, I should say, <laughs> um, at the same time, well, no, 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 no never mind, i because that, you know that level I was racking on about before that, like, is my favourite? I believe that level has zero mystery clouds, because... Well, because of how it's structured, anyway, it can't, it really can't have any. And because of it, it's a much more fun level. There are, the thing, the hidden things are on the harder paths, so you can see them, but you have, you don't have to get them. I really feel that's the better way to structure it, and, you know, I really should be talking about this in the level that has that, because we're not playing that level yet. And even this level is a lot better. Um, let's play this. Let's play this level. And I'll, I'll get the hearts later off screen. <laughs> so I just want. I just want to play this level right now. And then, anyway, here is uh, 26 Sonic, which is Sonic actually kind of fits Yoshi. Well, Sonic's colors fit Yoshi pretty well, I must say. <laughs> well, it's a pretty well, Sonic has a pretty basic design, so it fits him well anyway. They did the shoes really good too. 
rolling down the river while those stupid giant fish attack you. Yeah, but like this level has mystery clouds, but there are, I don't know, I, I, I'm trying to articulate myself so hard, but the re the reasons why things are things just doesn't come to my head. So this is why I'm not a reviewer, you know? Well, I say that yet. <laughs> Well, I feel the problem in this case is I'm I'm very nostalgia blind. Like, if I had a, had this game as a kid, would I love it just as much as, much as Yoshi's Island? Probably. In fact, I'd probably love it even more. See, look, there's a mystery cloud hidden down here. Of course, it's there. They don't just put planks of woods here on like without putting something there. And that's that's probably my favorite way of hiding things. Like, I've you know I've gone on about this like 20 times now. They don't just like, if, if there's just a random hole in a wall, there's going to be something hidden there most likely. So, if you want to go explore it, that's your option. And I'm sorry, I only have two eggs, so I only have enough to get this. Oh, I'll get an egg from that, and this. Which they actually have, you know, hitting the platform reveals the, the, um, the stamps. Well, the, the beads, the beads that have the stamps. Yeah, and again, this, see, this, look, there's two, instead of it just, like, being randomly hidden up there, there was two things to show that there was probably something hidden in between there. So, in these cases, I don't mind Mystery Clouds. They're kind of a nice addition. Well, I mean, they're already, they weren't really an addition. They were already in the game. <laughs> By the way, these shy guys here, <laughs> if I was just, like, constantly lick this, you think they have, like, a camera to see what's outside, and they're just like, huh, well... Another shy guy has to go out, but he's just gonna get instantly killed. Oh well. It's been an honor serving with you guys. <laughs> now you're ammo for me. <laughs> Alright, I've had enough of you. Well, and it doesn't matter if I hit them, they <laughs> just gonna come back. Well, in there's more than one, so it doesn't come back. See, there's two right here. Yeah, you have to hit them directly in the mouth for them to spit out beads like that, which is I, that's pretty cool. Gives you an incentive to try and aim like that. Yeah, I like that. I also like. Um. Oh, the no. This is this is a great segue. <laughs> I also really like this. This is a, this transformation is pretty cool. It's something like you, like you know Yoshi usually turns into unanimous 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 objects, not like mermaids. <laughs> this is this is pretty interesting. So, Sonic is now a mermaid. Um, would there be fan art of that? Of course, there's fan art for everything. <laughs> Actually, it's the blue color pal palette sort of fits Yoshi Mermaid pretty well, I must say. More than Shulk, Yo Shulk Mermaid <laughs> would, anyway. <laughs> Get that one to all. Oh good. I was gonna say, is that was that really the second one? I feel like we should have gotten more Wonderwall than that by now. Oh, and that was the whole thing. Duckland overstay its welcome. But if it's your first time, you'll probably fail it because you're trying to explore everything in, in case there's like random hidden things. But since it's not my first time, I know there isn't any random hidden things, which um is just extending gameplay pointlessly. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know. What was I like? I remember at the start of the LP, I was going on about some game that sucks because um um because it like artificially extended gameplay by just having a bunch of like bullshit hidden stuff. Or, or was it this game I was talking about? Man, I don't even know anymore. Bottom line is, I think this is a good game, and um don't ask me to rank which Yoshi's Island game is best because. I like the series, but it's definitely not a favorite series of mine, like, at all. Oof, that was... man, that was really cool. But I, I don't I hate saying that too, though, because it makes it feel like, oh man, this series is like, okay, it's not great or anything, because I really do like it. Like, it's a real... this is a really fun game. Oh, it's like, this is... Yoshi's Island is such a mixed feelings franchise for me. Jeez, oh, that that is probably why I'm so frustrated today, because it's all it's been all that's on my mind is just ah why why game why don't I just outright love you like a child? 
<laughs> I don't know. No, my raft. I needed that to raft things. Hey, get out of here. All right, now, this flower here, that... Oh, that... I had to replay this level like five times the first time I played this because of that flower. That's kind of weird. Okay, I had to have to run backwards because the last Wonder Wheel is backwards here. <laughs> Yeah, it, I, again, I probably made it looking, getting that flower look really easy, but, um, like, as you probably saw, the raft, like, sort of speeds up, like, just before you get it, and not that you saw this, but that fish doesn't actually jump at you until, like, you need to throw an egg up to get the flower, so it, I disposed of the giant fish early, which allowed me to get the flower easier, so I, that's why you'd probably have trouble the first time you played. What do you mean I missed the stamp? Excuse you. <laughs> God, I have to replay both levels. What is this shit? <laughs> they see me rolling. Need this to kill fish. I don't think you need a giant Cooper for that, but <laughs> whatever. Yeah, that see even that guy hates that guy couldn't get the last flower either. Ugh. Problems, problems, problems. Alright, so I think I'll play this level first because you don't need to see me getting all the hearts again in that level, but this level. I'm not sure what stamp I missed, because I didn't miss a stamp in my practice run, so that's that's really weird when that happens, I, I don't know, I, I feel like it was probably something super obvious, or maybe it was just a generic hidden mystery cloud, you know, because I, I was complaining about those. But anyway, though, where's that, where's that damn stamp? No, no, I didn't miss this, because I know this is a stamp here. I didn't mean- oh, no, well, obviously I did miss that, because the game- game is a machine and it doesn't, like, make errors, but... Man, I must have been really not paying attention to miss that, because we hit that mystery cloud, and I just failed to get the bead somehow, oh well. Oh, well, there you go, see, oh, look, that- that's the problem if you don't kill that fish too soon, he, um, he's in the way, so you can't get the flower. Okay, I'm done with that. <laughs> so I just gotta apologize if I came off as like, you know, a bit crude this episode, because eh, I'm mystified by the mysteries and nostalgia. Isn't it a fickle thing? <laughs> anyway, so this episode I was complaining about how much I hate m hidden mystery clouds. Well, because this level, knowing the Cooper's Aqua Fort, has one of the most annoying hidden things involving invisible walls, so you'll hear me complaining about that a ton next episode. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for the hidden walls bitching. <laughs>